Hello guys, welcome back to Unity Gurus. My name is Mahin and this is lesson 3. So let's get started. In this lesson, we will set our ball to respawn every time we hit a, a ball. And uh, next thing we will check if we have successfully hit object so that we can load next level. So let's get started. Okay, so first I would like to turn off the mesh render of this cube so that it is not low visible in the scene. Next, what I want to do is first to make a group of this scan so that we can make different different types of layout for every level of the group. So for that, first make a empty game object and name is can set group. Now I will uh, make another new game object inside this this one is set one and I will make this child of this set one object now I will rearrange them like this suppose that uh, this is our first level later we will make these type of levels more this type of levels okay We will make like this two, three, four, five of so little level, level like this and name it two, three, one, two, three, four like this. Okay. And now just test this. Oops. I forgot to disable all this object. So for now, I just uh, I disable all these uh, groups because we only need one, this one. And okay fine next thing uh, we want to do is uh, we want to reposition the ball each time we hit the object so that uh, right now as you can see the ball is not uh, uh, re respawning so we need to make a function so that ball comes again after hitting this object so for that first uh, make this background I will make this box collider a little bit thicker something like this and I want to make it I'm is much bigger so there is enough room for the box to collide okay like this okay the ball is now colliding with the back of background also I would like to make this thing in center okay next uh, I will also want to make a floor object so that we can check well the whether the ball has hit this floor or not for that I will make a 3d plane and I will make a very big plane this one for both scan and the ball to detect the collision so same for this I remove this mesh collider and add a box collider and give it some sort of thickness okay and just uh, give it some material ah, this one is fine um, uh, keep it this name plane and I want to give it a tag because we will need it later so R E S we will call it resetter. Name it reset and give it a tag resetter. Okay. And make sure to make it trigger so that we can check whether the uh, the can or the ball has collided with this plane. Okay. Uh First of all, I would like to make a new script for ball. Create new C sharp script. And uh, one script for can. Attach this script to the can. Add component and can. I attach this can script to the can. And to the ball. I add ok 
Okay. I attach the script to the ball. I open up this script. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay. Delete this start function and update function. Okay. To detect the collision, we're gonna use on trigger on call on trigger method. So void on trigger enter collider other if other dot game object dot tag you can use uh, dot tag and check is whatever the tag of the object is or you can use compare tag it is slightly faster than the comp slightly faster than the dot tag function so I'm using this one the tag which we gave our floor object resetter then we would like to call this function reposition ball first we will uh, we're gonna need a uh, start position uh, so that we can move our ball to the initial position for that uh, we'll need a vector 3 spawn position void start spawn position will be transform dot position this is the initial position of the ball so what we want this we assign this position to the ball again first we want the game object this dot game object dot set active is equal to false then transform dot position is equal to the initial position which is the spawn position next we want to enable the animator component which we disabled in after shooting the ball to get the reference of the animation component this dot get component type animator dot enabled is equal to true and the last Game object dot set active is equal to true. So we will call the function whenever we hit this resetter object. So reposition ball. Okay, let's test test this. This is our ball object, and we have already attached our script. We hit the ball and tag is not defined. Let me check. Uh, okay, we made the wrong tag. Okay, just remove it. This is gonna be removed. We will add a new object. Save it and remove the old one. Okay, let's test this again. Okay, now the ball has come again and you can shoot it again. Uh, so the main one problem is that if you click on this thing and if you move this thing, the ball is still moving and sometimes it's fell down from this platform so like this so to do that we will use a box collider instead of this pair collider
although this is uh, not a suitable collider for this object but this will also help us to get better collision with the can object later I will show you how why I am using this box collider instead of a sphere collider for now I would uh, like to stick with this box collider and see okay now you can see the ball is not stable 